Hey guys. I'm Courtney and I'm having a quarter life crisis on the internet. Welcome to the chaos. For today's video, we are gonna be answering a question. Where is the best place to buy fidget toys? A very sought out question, as you could imagine. Being a full grown adult that has made a career out of opening kids toys, it has been brought to my attention that fidget toys are like the toy of the century. Everybody wants fidgets. Kids, teens, adults, everybody wants a fidget. They're everywhere. And not only are they everywhere, they're everything. Almost any item that you can imagine has been turned into fidget form. Fidget phone cases, fidget air pod holders, fidget notebooks, fidget pencils. They're all everything's fidget. I'm a fidget. So now that we know everyone wants one, where do you get them? And so I took it upon us to find out the store that has the best fidgets. So we went shopping for research and we're gonna start out with don't let the bag fool you, the Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, they had more than what I thought they would have. We picked up this butterfly poppet. It's a keychain. On that same note, we picked up a little heart one, which I thought was pretty cute. We were able to pick up two bendy tubes. These are some of my favorite fidget toys because I like doing this. We have a clink and snap. These are also very popular fidget toys. So as far as like affordable fidgets, I feel like the Dollar Tree is definitely a good option so far. They had two kind of squeeze and release poppets. I'm gonna open the green one. Never used one of these. Squeeze. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, I dig that. They're literally just zippers, but they're bracelets, which I feel like is kind of fun. Yes, yeah, so these are literally just zippers. This one kind of matches my outfit though. On the same fashion vibe, we have a bigger uh, statement piece, if you will. I think I'm gonna stick to this vibe I have going on here. Next thing that we picked up is called a novelty ball. I love like somehow like a slow rising Orbeez ball. The next thing that we picked up is a squishy pal, otherwise known as a mochi. I had a bunch of these on my car dash actually, uh, until I found out that the sun would murder them. But I think he's super cute and I'm gonna name him Fred after my dad. Next up, this is definitely not a fidget toy. This is a pencil case, but how entertaining is that? Sensory sort of vibes, but it's definitely not a toy. And on that note, <laughs> could you imagine? I just hop on a Zoom meeting. Oh, like one second, like let me write down your info. I just pull this out, pen going in. Ta-da! And who says I don't make smart purchases? Those are all the fidgets that we picked up from the Dollar Tree. For what it is, I think that was a pretty good selection. Moving on to probably the next stereotypical place. This is Walmart. And I was not kidding when I said pencil pouch because here she is. Every teacher's worst nightmare, probably. Walmart also carries the brand Nido. This was the shaggy Nido, and that is because it has like this like shaggy, like sort of fluffy texture. Okay, I didn't expect it to make that noise. This is so fun, oh my goodness. Next up, we have a octopus. This struck me specifically because he has that little face there, and then when you flip him inside out, that is so funny. We have this slug. If I think about it being a slug though, it kind of freaks me out for some reason. We also picked up a fidget spinner, but this is a premium one. Like what's premium though? A higher quality plastic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. This is kind of premium. This is heavy. Yeah, this is premium. I don't know. That one's pretty good. I hate to say it cause it's like, it's just a spinner, but it's premium. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> okay, I mean, it's literally just a fidget cube. You have like a little ball roller, you have a button, you have a clicking side. I guess, honestly, if you were like in class, this would be kind of like what to lean towards. I feel like it'd be less distracting than perhaps the pop it bubble case. Then we have these things. I have seen these everywhere, but I've never tried them. They're roll and spin magnetic powered rollers, stress relieving. Somehow to me, these seem like they would be kind of stressful. But yeah, you kind of can just like put them around your fingers and kind of just roll and it doesn't really seem like I'm doing it right. I mean, you know, they're kind of fun to like twirl around here. The last thing that we picked up from Walmart to me is specifically funny and I will tell you why. We have a fidget controller. 
and it has pops on it. It's got different buttons. It's got spinning. It's got like a joystick almost. Is that what it's called? Joystick? Joystick. A joystick. It has essentially a very similar setup to a uh, regular remote control. So much so where you could just kind of play with a regular, say, GameCube controller just unplugged and uh, click around on it. And this is virtually buying a controller that does nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cool for a collection, but like dumb overall. Naturally, we had to take a peek in Target. This is calling itself a fidget toy, like a water fidget toy. I'm not saying it's not a fidget toy, but it's like you don't really fidget with it. You kind of just like tilt it upside down and then like see the water. Also, these heavily remind me of the dentist. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite ones. I think this is so fun. I just don't know that I would really consider it a fidget toy because all I would do is flip it over, leave it somewhere, and then like watch it. It's a knockoff lava lamp, if we're being honest. It's a lava lamp that you have to flip yourself. <laughs> Okay, next up, we got two of like virtually the same thing, but not Loopy Hoopy, and this is the, <laughs> this is the Loopy Hoopy, not to be confused with the Loopy Looper. All right, so essentially, the name of the game, once again, these are kind of giving me like dentist toy vibes. Essentially, what this is here is a little basketball with a little basketball hoop, and you try to loop it around but like get it in the hoop. And I think it's much easier if you're actually looking at it. Well, you're probably not supposed to do this. You're probably supposed to keep it like this, but I have no idea how. Oh, I just got it. All right, I know how. Yeah, this one though. Oh, this one comes out. The loopy looper is throwing me for a loop. Okay, so this one, the marble here actually comes out. I guess the idea is like, oh, if you get... <laughs> If you get good enough, you can do tricks with it and stuff. Launch the marble with a quick flick of your wrist. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And uh, when you're done playing, you can snap the marble into uh, its little holder here, I guess. There you go. These are busy bolts. And when I was younger, I used to collect erasers and what I would have done to have these in my collection. I know what you're thinking. I was the life of the party. You can bolt your erasers. Like how fun is that? This would keep me busy in class. Once again, teacher's worst nightmare, but I bet that you can bolt your bolts together by putting partial on one, partial on the other. Wow, call me a mechanic. Now that we have got what I would consider our standard stores out of the way of where you would expect to buy fidget toys, we have some what I would have originally considered unexpected contenders, but they are in fact contenders. We have Claire's icing, Claire's evil sister, and the ugly cousin of the family, Francesca's. Francesca's was having a buy one get two free clearance sale. We picked up two, oh my god, pop fidgety keychains. This one being a super cute bear. And then this one, probably my favorite that we've picked up, the peach. We picked up a poppet bracelet, which we did also see at the Dollar Tree, but this one looks like a step up quality wise. You just snap it to keep it on your wrist. And honestly, I could fit it over my hand. So, I mean, if that doesn't make a statement, I don't know what will. Up next, we have Claire's. Now, Claire's and icing, they both always, without fail, will never not have this deal, the buy three, get three. I have been going to Claire's since I was probably 10. I am now 26. For the last 16 years, for as long as I could remember, Every day, Claire's is having the buy three, get three. I don't even think it's a sale anymore. I think it's just their policy. And so naturally, we bought three and got three. The first thing that we picked up is this strawberry keychain coin purse, pop it edition, of course. The next keychain that we picked up is this pop it mushroom keychain, but it doubles as a notepad because who doesn't need a pop it mushroom notepad in their life. This is cute. This is what would get someone like me to buy fidget toys because they're aesthetic. I could slap this on my window and leave it there. This is a sticky pop it. So this is like one of the ones that you put down on a table and then pull up and it makes that like aesthetic ASMR popping sound. See the like little suction cups. But look at how 
freaking cute that is. It's literally just like a little daisy and the center is a heart. I'm gonna slap this on my vanity and just not peel it off. My three favorite fidgets that we picked up were a collab with Smiley World, which just means everything is super cute and smiley. We have this Smiley World Pop It keychain and the packaging on this stuff is so freaking cute. They call this their fidget bubble popper and it is one of the clear fidget balls, but inside it has little smiley faces and I think this one is so cute and then the final thing that we picked up is this giant bubble popper I I don't I just think this is so aesthetic and last but not least we have icing and I never thought I would say this because I feel like icing is targeted more towards kids or so I thought icing's fidget toys were so out of pocket I was not expecting it the first one that I got is a popper and it's a wedding cake and I'm actually not gonna open this because I got it from my friend Ashley as a joke because she's getting married and planning her wedding and planning a wedding is stressful so I thought this would be a funny little here you go wedding plan stress I thought this was really cute here's where they kind of start to get out of pocket we have this popper which I think is hilarious and then we got three different textured stress balls once again I was not gonna open this one because I was also gonna add this into Ashley's little basket now these two <laughs> Here we just have another stress ball, um, just black, but it actually just, you know? So, I mean, it really encompasses the whole stress ball thing, just not what I was expecting icing to be selling. Once again, on that same final note, we have like a stress ball keychain, and uh, that is what it says. I just didn't think that was icing's dynamic. I didn't think that was their target, but I'm here for it. And those are all the fidgets that we picked up. In conclusion, here's what I think. Walmart has the best fidget toys. When I think of fidget toy, I think these. Target to me had the best kind of fidget games and or activities. These were probably the winners for me. And, and honestly, icing just gets points for me not thinking that they would have things like this and them having things like this. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and hanging out with me. You can subscribe to join the chaos and you can subscribe to the vlog channel to continue the chaos. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.